Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to discuss with you why I don't support any beauty guru or influencer makeup brands. So I've got some notes with me um, that I'm just going to briefly touch on. And yeah, feel free to leave your comments and thoughts below as well. Okay, so first point is the price. So this is probably the number one reason why I don't support them. It is purely a price thing. I feel like a lot of them are charging high-end prices for their products um, where the products are not really delivering on that price. And I feel like they're just using their name to add, you know, price onto things. And they believe that people are just going to buy them because they're their fans and things like that and I've been sucked in before this is why I don't do that sort of stuff anymore um, because you get sucked in by the person and the personality and things like that and obviously they get the you know their friends and the other beauty gurus to hype up the product and of course other beauty gurus don't feel like saying anything negative about it um, because they want to keep friendships and connections and things like that so that's definitely something that um, I, yeah, a big reason why I don't is price. And yeah, like, um, like I just said, quality is my, this was my second point, which I sort of touched on anyway, but yeah, the price and the quality are sort of hand in hand. I mean, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I would be okay with paying less in price and have the same quality that they're pumping out, but they're just not pumping out the quality in, in a lot of the products and a lot of um, brands such as Jeffree Star, the product quality has been going downhill on some items, uh, you know, since the first, you know, launch and the first makeup collection. So, yeah. And another thing is lack of innovation and uniqueness. I feel like Jeffree Star is probably the only person that does this exceptionally well is the innovation side of things and the packaging and keeping things unique um i think jeffree star definitely has a um you know a niche market that he's tapping into people who want colorful um bright vibrant makeup but are just you know they're not a makeup artist per se they're probably just an everyday user um that's looking for something a bit more um, high quality so he's definitely got that market on lock which you know good on him but I feel like other beauty youtubers do not have innovation they're basically copying a lot of other brands in terms of the way things are laid out and colors and styling and things like that um, and yeah I would rather just buy off the original brand um, that had the original idea yeah and the last one, but this is probably one of the most important ones, if you are thinking about buying from a beauty influencer, is poor return policies. So a lot of these beauty guru brands have very poor return policies that aren't covered by Australian consumer law, if you are in Australia. Um, and because you're purchasing from overseas, you're not covered um, under the consumer law. So you would be covered under the law from the original country, which is most likely America, if you are purchasing from a beauty influencer. Um, and a lot of them do not offer returns or refunds on change of mind. A lot of them do not um, accept any returns after 30 days, whereas a lot of retailers, especially Sephora and things like that, can offer up to 90 days on returns. Um, so be mindful of return policies and things like that. Make sure you read those FAQs if you are thinking of purchasing from one of these brands. And yeah, just stay safe out there and purchase wisely. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I am trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So any support that you can give is greatly appreciated. Okay, thanks. Bye.